Welcome to our webinar today. We will be covering billing two, finance, billing, and late charges. In today's webinar, we will cover how to set up finance billing charges. We will go over the finance and billing options. We will also show, up, show you how to set up late charges and go over the late charge options. The billing and finance charges tool is used to apply finance or billing charges to accounts. The charges will be applied to all guarantors that meet the filtering criteria entered. We do have some required setup before we can go ahead and run our finance billing charge. First required setup is to go ahead and make sure that you enable billing and finance charges feature. To do this, we will go ahead and go to setup, advanced setup, and show features. The charge tools option is here, and we are going to go ahead and enable billing slash finance charges. Radio button's already selected there, so I've already gone ahead and enabled them. We'll go ahead and click OK if it's the first time you guys are enabling. The other thing that we want to go ahead and make sure is that we set a billing and finance charge adjustment type in account module preferences. To create an adjustment type, You'll go to Setup, Definitions, and Adjustment Types. You'll click on Add to give your finance or adjustment type a name. I've named mine Finance Charge. And then when you click on Add, it will also go ahead and give us either a plus or minus sign so that we can go ahead and have the definition to be either a negative or positive adjustment. I've already created that finance charge. As you can see here, it's highlighted, so I don't need to create another. We also want to go ahead and go into account module preferences. So setup, account, here is our account module preferences. And for the finance charge adjustment type, I have it set here to finance charge. We also have a billing charge adjustment type, which I've already had created and set to billing charge. So these are the options for those adjustment types. We'll go ahead and click OK because I've already set those up. Next, we'll go to Tools to go over the features and options for our billing slash finance charges. So this is our billing slash finance charges window. In this window, you can see that we have some options to filter through. The first box here is the date last run. This will go ahead and show you the last time that the tool was run. Date of new charges, you'll enter the date the new charges should be applied. Billing charge, if we select the radio button for billing charge, this will add a flat charge to the account and the charge will be added to the account as an adjustment. Finance charges, when we select the radio button for finance charges, we apply a percentage charge or APR to the account balance. This charge is calculated against the patient portion of the entire family. It is recommended that you run it every month for an accurate APR, and an adjustment will be added that equals one month of APR charges. Currently, I have my APR set to 18, 18%. Charge at least. This option, you'll want to set the minimum finance charge amount. So for example, if I set $5 here, so if I were to enter the value of $5, any finance charge amount from a penny to $4.99 will be charged as $5 to the patient. I just wanna go ahead and set it to zero. Only if over. Set the minimum amount of a calculated finance charge before APR is assessed. So for example, if the only if over amount is $3, so let's go ahead and set the value to three, and the fine arch charge is less than that amount, the patient is charged zero. If both preferences are set, the patient will be charged the charge at least amount, but only if it is greater than the only if over amount. So if I had $5 in here and only if over three, that's how you'll see how that works. 
if the finance charge is greater than the charge at least amount, the finance charge amount is applied. And then compound interest. This determines whether or not past interest adjustment charges are considered when calculating new interest charges. Check to charge interest on the total past due amount. And if we leave it unchecked, you'll charge interest on the past due amount minus any past interest charges. Calculate on balances aged. You'll want to select the age of the accounts that should have the charge added. So in my scenario, we'll only be applying a finance charge if the account balance is over 90 days. Only apply to these billing types. So you'll want to go ahead and select which billing types should have the charge added. For us, we will go ahead and add that to all billing types. That's why they're all selected. And then we have billing slash finance filters here. You'll want to select options to have certain accounts excluded from receiving finance or billing charges. So for example, if we have a checkbox here for exclude bad addresses, if the guarantor has no zip code, we can exclude inactive family members. So families with an inactive status, we can also exclude, so if this is checked, it will exclude families with any insurance claims still pending. Ignore walkout in-person statements. This works in combination with excluding accounts not billed since setting. If checked, walkout statements will not be considered as being billed. The exclude accounts with truth in lending. Check to exclude families that do not have a signed truth in lending agreement on record. You can note that a patient has signed a truth in lending agreement in the edit patient window on the other tab. And for more information, please see our web manual. The exclude if balance is less than. You'll set a balance below which families will be excluded. And then exclude accounts not billed since. The billing finance finance charges will not be applied to accounts that have not been sent a statement between the date entered and today's date. Accounts that have been sent a statement between the date entered and today's date will get a billing finance charge. Remove the date to include all accounts. And here we have the assigned charges too. We can go ahead and assign the charges to the patient's primary provider or we can select the radio button to choose a specific provider for all of our billing and finance charges to be applied to. But I'm going to leave it at the patient's primary provider. So once we are done, we'll want to go ahead and click Run to process our billing or finance charges to include the accounts. So finance charges have been added, and it looks like it's been added to eight accounts. So we'll go ahead and click OK. So going back into tools and the billing and finance charges, now we have an undo billing slash finance charges. So you can use the undo button to undo your most recent charge, finance or billing, and all adjustments made on the same date, which have the same adjustment type will be deleted. So since we, I ran the adjustments today, it defaults to today's date and it will undo all finance charges done for today's date. To undo finance charges for a different date, you must manually go into each account and delete the individual adjustment. And you can do that very easily by going to our finance charges um, report, which is located in standard reports in the monthly section and you'll click on finance charges. So let's show you where that's at. Here's our monthly section, and this is the finance charge report. You can go ahead and change your date range to run that report. We'll go ahead and click cancel. Close out of there. So now we're going to go ahead and go into late charges. The late charges tool is used to apply late charge adjustments to accounts with statements that have an unpaid balance. The charge amount is calculated based on the current remaining 
patient portion of production items on statements sent between a set number of days. The charges will post to the account of all guarantors and super family heads that meet the filtering criteria. And again, with late charges, there are some setup requirements. So one of them being, we need to go into show features. Please keep in mind that with the late charges and or billing finance charges, you can only have one enabled. So it's either going to be the billing slash finance charges that the office has enabled or late charges. The required setup for late charges will be back again into setup, advanced features, and then show features. This time we'll go ahead and select the late charges radio button and click OK. Once this is enabled, late charges will be available in the tools menu. We'll also want to go ahead and set the late charge adjustment type in the account module preferences. And we'd already gone over how to go ahead and do that a little bit earlier. So now that we've enabled that, we'll go into tools and we'll go into late charges. Notice that now that I've enabled late charges, I do not have the option for billing slash finance charge tool. Because like I said before, we can only have one option enabled. Late charges, and this is our late charges option. So the date last run is the date on the previous posted late charges adjustment. The date of new charges, you'll enter the date the new charges should be applied. It will default to today's date. And then these late charge settings down here, exclude accounts with truth in lending. You'll check to exclude families that do not have a signed truth in lending agreement on record. And again, you can find more information on that on our web manual or please see the link below. Exclude existing late charges. Check to exclude statement balances that already have late charges. The exclude if balance is less than. Do not generate late charges for families that have a balance less than or equal to this set amount after insurance estimates. Percentage. Fee on amount due. Here we can set the percent of the late charge fee. The percent applies to the current remaining balance of production items on statements that meet the late charge criteria. Set to zero or leave blank to apply a flat fee. Minimum charge. Set the minimum late charge. So for example, if set to $5, so let's go ahead and set that to $5. Any late charge amount calculated that's from a penny to $4.99 will be charged at least $5 or the minimum of five. Alternatively, this can be used to apply a flat, flat fee when the percentage is set to zero or left blank. And the maximum charge you can set the maximum late charge amount. So for example, if set to 15, any late charge amount calculated as 1501 or over will be charged as $15. And then the apply to statements between. Set the number of days to consider late charges. Late charges are calculated based on the unpaid balances of the production items on statements sent on or between this set number of dates. If a patient does not have a sent statement within this range, no late charge adjustment is applied to the account. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my values in because I wanna go ahead and at least go back from one to 90 days. only apply to these billing types. Here, we're gonna go ahead and select the billing types to apply the late charges. The charges only applied if the guarantor of the family has one of the selected types. I wanna go ahead and apply to these right here. And then we can go ahead and save these as a default uh, to save the selected lit, uh, late charge settings as a default. So let's go ahead and do that. Auto fix 
fix my little errors. And now we can go ahead and save that as a default. We can assign charges to the guarantor's primary provider, or we can choose a specific provider with the radio button and our drop down menu here. I'm going to choose the guarantor's primary provider. And then we'll want to go ahead and click run to apply late charges to all included accounts. Run late charges. OK. Displays a pop up to show how many late charges have been applied to the accounts. And now you see that the tool has gone away. So if we want to go ahead and go back to tools and late charges, we have the undo late charges. So to remove the recent late charges, you can click undo. All adjustments made on the same date with the same late charge adjustment type will be deleted. To undo late charges for a different date, you must manually go into each account and delete the individual adjustments. Late charge adjustments attached to a payment or dynamic payment plan cannot be deleted with this tool. When you click undo, you will receive a pop-up explain, explaining some late charges will not be deleted. And to view a list of patients with late charge adjustments that cannot be deleted, you'll click yes when prompted. And then you'll go to each patient on the list and manually detach the adjustment from the pay list or dynamic payment plans to delete the adjustments if needed. This was a brief review of our billing, finance, and late charges tools. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.